The parents of Lieutenant Tim O'Donnell, the New Zealand Army's first combat fatality in Afghanistan, have been awarded a special medal. The Memorial Cross recognises that servicemen don't serve alone and that their families are also an integral part for the Defence Force. Charlotte Shipman reports. The Memorial Cross recognises a mother's loss of her son. It's so guttural, it's something you can't explain to somebody. It's not something you can understand unless you've been there and done it. Her son, Lieutenant Tim O'Donnell, was killed when his convoy was attacked with explosives in Afghanistan in August 2010. Lance Corporal Alistair Baker and Corporal Matthew Ball were also at the ceremony. They tried to free O'Donnell's body from the Humvee while still under fire. The medal is another decoration for the O'Donnells to treasure in Tim's honour. Tim's knitted monkey called Lieutenant Rua Kiwi is a family favourite. He comes to everything now because he went with Tim everywhere in Afghanistan and so now he comes with us. So too do Tim's dog tags. You will take it off. No, don't take it off. Prime Minister John Key says New Zealand will exit Afghanistan earlier than the previous deadline of the end of 2014. So it could be as early as next year? It's possible. Um, you wouldn't want to make that uh, decision today. But a cabinet recommendation on when New Zealand will pull out of Afghanistan is likely within the next two months. Obviously we want to make sure that um, we leave the place in, in great shape. We've put an awful lot of work in there and um, Tim O'Donnell paid with his life. So to honour that, we need to make sure the exit is done professionally. The O'Donnells join 125 other families who have been awarded the Memorial Cross since the end of World War II. Charlotte Shipman, 3 News.